Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox, where I finally brought into Kerbal Space Program the new Shinkansen space plane, uh, though there are some problems with it still, I have more work to do. I haven't produced all of the process videos yet, but beyond the Blender portions, most of the process videos are pretty much drudge work, so I don't know exactly how to handle the the editing of that whole business, you know, Unity, making configuration files, and Substance Painter as well. Substance Painter goes by pretty quickly. Uh, so I'll have to think about that. It's not as interesting as the Blender portion. But in any case, we are here to flight test it to see whether it can fly or not. But also, I have not put on the canards. I didn't add the canards in the Blender model yet. And that is because I am going to see what kind of canards we might need. Right? Uh, we clearly need canards. Uh, this is currently in its unfueled state and the center of lift is really far back compared to the center of mass. Now, in its uh, more fueled state, that changes. Uh, we've got this tank here, which is the abort slash forward RCS tank, and in the end, that's all the fuel that we're going to have left. This tank will drain first, but as you can see, if this is fully fueled, it's technically sort of still balanced. The, it'll end up uh, flopping on its tail though because of the location of the landing gear. We could move the landing gear back uh, for a non-takeoff capable Shinkansen. In other words, as long as it's just going to land, we can have the landing gear as far behind the center of mass as we need. Uh, to take off though, to do the flight test, we can't have the center of mass that far back. Uh, uh, but we know we can't have the landing gear too far back behind the center of mass and we're not going to take off or try to take off with it fully fueled it would never be uh, i mean technically it would never be taking off in the first place but um the most we're going to put in for the flight test is 20 percent which is around here and that we'll use to run the rocket engines so that we don't have to add extra jet engines but overall its dry mass at 47 tons is a little bit high the mass of the wings is set by FAR. I'm not setting that mass. So FAR is deciding how what the current wing mass is for all those parts, uh, which leaves me with the dry mass of the crew section, the abort pack, which I actually have to turn into a high pressure tank, and the rear end uh, with the main tanks. And the landing gear. The landing gear is a pain because of the way it scales. You see, if uh, we're at 1.25 right now, if we go back to scale 1, notice how much mass we just lost. We basically lost 0.9 tons. So that's a thing. But just my mass estimates for the body of it are probably a little bit high. And so we'll adjust for that. But that adjustment will probably be done evenly across the whole thing. And so it won't throw what we're going to do today too far off. So... Let us get the, well, let's get some control, sort of, no, all moving wing, and that will be our canard for now, before I make a proper canard in Blender, and well, that much is already too much, so, the canard is also doubling as a control surface for the abort, when we do abort, if we do abort, we want to be able to control the darn thing. I mean, it's not super necessary. Another limitation is that we can't have, well, but, well, we certainly can't have the uh, cargo bay doors interfering with the canards, so. Yep. Uh, well, I mean, this would be about right. And then, of course, if this was empty, that's pretty far. That's really nose heavy. But we could pump some back, but not a whole lot. So maybe we need a little bit more here. I tried to design this a little bit better so that it'd be more aerodynamically correct and better, but I think I should have reshaped the wing much more than I did. Well, we'll start with this and see how it flies, and then we'll work from here. And, you know, things will develop. This is not the first iteration of the Shinkansen, that's for sure, so we may have to make other changes. Okay, here we go. 
atmospheric all piled on, throttle up, and not that much, and ignition of just two of the engines. That'll give us plenty of push here. Oh, I almost scraped the tail off though. Well, it can take off. Uh, it's accelerating rather quickly. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's not go supersonic just yet. The engines have how many ignitions? 24, so no problems. It is nose heavy. I'm pulling up as hard as I can, though uh, atmospheric op pod's sort of interfering with that a little bit. Uh, I'm not getting a whole lot of lift right now. Well, let's take the shuttle landing strip. Well, at least my control surfaces on the wings and vertical stabilizer is working. But right now, it's impossible to pull up. And I would like to be able to land at a lower speed than that if possible. I guess I didn't put any kerbals in. We need to do that. Eek! Oh no, it's not going well. Okay, no, I didn't actually... Oh, okay. Well, they would have survived. I don't know what's going on there. That's a lot of stuff. Initialization error. Hmm. Does that mean that our cockpit isn't right? No, there wasn't anybody in. Let me just see that we have a cockpit. Hold on. Well, seems like it. Yeah, well, that's fine enough for now. Oh, it doesn't have functionality. We've got something wrong with rest prop monitor. I can't click stuff. Okay. Well, so noted that's also looking wrong. Something is weird. Okay, but we're gonna have the same fate as last time unless I change something and I'm gonna try and change the canard. Let's just try and get that center of lift where it's supposed to be. Now these can't be placed ahead of the center of mass of this. Well, this is a bit of a problem, isn't it? I was hoping that this would stabilize this a little bit better than that. I don't really want more canard than that. Let me just try and fly it like this. Don't tell me I needed like a forward swept wing. I mean, this, I mean, this is obviously pretty backward swept, but... Maybe I should have done a more radically different wing design. Okay, well, let's see. Ignition. Well... It's pretty fast getting, uh, when it gets off the ground, though. Well... Let's just get some speed and height, maybe. Doesn't have any problem going past the speed of sound, that's for sure. I don't know what that sound is. Or Okay, trying to line up with the shuttle runway. We're going awful slowly though. I think we're going too slowly for a landing there.
Well, now you can slow down. <laughs> Oh, okay, um... Gotta try just SAS. It keeps making the ignition sound, even though my throttle's down. It's a little bit wiggly without the atmospheric autopilot. Okay. So it can land like that. That time I just used SAS without atmospheric autopilot. Let me try to boost it to a nice height and then have it glide down without any additional input of thrust, maybe. I don't know if that's going to work out or not. Uh, we don't seem to have any problems rotating. Maybe I should put some extra fuel in. Okay, let's try that. A little bit tending to rear up here, but throttle up. Uh, atmospheric got piled on. And not throttle up that much. Engage. Oh, oh, it's going weird. It's going weird. Okay, maybe that's too early to try to lift off at. Shouldn't have rotated yet. Okay, here we go again. Okay, well it's a little bit wiggly, but alright, up, up, up. Starting to turn like this. This might be too steep to come in. Yeah. Uh, we might have to go around like that. Well, we definitely have to go around like that. Let's say something like that. There's an imbalance between the methane and oxygen there. Handles pretty well, as long as it's going fast. Trying to judge my turn here. We gotta lose a lot of speed on the turn after all. Now we might be too far out, let's see. It's not gliding great, but it's gliding okay. Sliding okay. Could be worse. I'm just gonna bleed off speed by hovering over the runway as much as I can. I don't think this thing needs air brakes. Uh, I must freak off hot wiggles every now and again. Going awful fast. Uh, oh! Okay, maybe that was too fast. I knocked out the body flap. Uh, oh, and more. Uh, okay, well, they survived, but maybe one more time. I didn't know how much speed we would lose coming in, so I. Kept a little bit too much speed. Okay, and go. Don't squiggle.
The space plane version won't have four engines. It's the carrier plane that has the four engines. Okay, and here we go again. It makes a lot of weird noises. Like just now, I swear it made the landing gear noise. Okay, turning. Okay, definitely coming in slower here. But maybe a little bit too slow. I overdid it. Uh, I'll light the engines a little bit. Uh, every so often, Amos forgot pilot wiggles to the left and right, and that loses us extra speed. Mm, I'm gonna switch back to SAS. Uh, okay, no, maybe just Amos forgot pilot. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I'll just have to fine-tune exactly how much authority is being used for what, like on roll and yaw and such. For each of the surfaces. Uh-oh, we're going too slow. Okay, I don't know what's going on. But we we're going too slow. Is it a long enough runway? Oh, body flap again. Well, I certainly need more practice flying it. It can sort of fly. It's the landings that are a problem. But anyway, it's here. Improvements will be made. Well, that's the first shot of at flight testing the Shinkansen space plane, the Shinkansen Neo, which is sort of redundant. Shin is already new. <laughs> so <laughs> having Shin and then Neo is... Uh, doubling up on that but anyway uh, for now with that thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time